we're trying to find the magnetic field at these different radiuses from the center of this uh, wire. It's carrying a non-uniform current, so it's going to have a current density that's going to be varying in terms of R here, uh, based on this formula. So we're going to try to figure out the magnetic field at these different points. Uh, R equals zero is going to be like right here, R equals 2.1 is going to be like somewhere over here, and then all the way at the max as well. In order to do that, um, let's try to figure out the B um, ds integral. Bam. Uh, and that is a dot product right there. So we're going to say B cosine theta ds in the integral here. And the theta is going to be the, the, the angle between these two. If we want to draw this a little bit better, just so we can see what's going on. Um, you can imagine this being the Amperian loop that's going around. And anytime I draw one of these little arrows, that's one of the DS's. And uh, then you want to ask yourself, what, where is the magnetic field? Well, if the current were shooting this way, I know the magnetic field is going to be going this way. So it's literally going to follow the loop around if the current was coming out of the page like this. Right hand rule. And so you can see how the cosine would be zero degrees, cosine of zero, giving us one. So we can just kind of get rid of this cosine, which is nice because it's a circle, so that'll work out nicely. Let's take our B integral ds, set that equal to mu naught i enclosed. And I'd like to divide both sides by the integral ds, so that way I'm left with the B on this side, so I know what the magnetic field that the, it is at that particular radius is. Um, and in order to integrate ds, we know that it's supposed to be uh, like r theta, right? Um, and it would be r d theta. And that means that we would say it's like 2 pi r. That's what the ds integral would be. Bam. So we can use that in these equations over here. We'll say b at whatever particular radius is equal to mu naught i enclosed divided by the 2 pi r. And, well, let's try to figure out the I enclosed now. We have another integral we gotta deal with, I believe. There's gonna be I equals the integral of J dA. And the J is gonna be this situation right here. We have an R in there. And I know that dA is supposed to be R dR d theta. So we're gonna use this over there. We're going to say I equals 270 divided by 3.3 .3 millimeters. And there's the integral. There's an R in there. And then there's also an R dr d theta. And then this, of course, is supposed to be like R squared, right? So we can kind of give that R squared dr d theta. Um, this technically would be a double integral. But like the d theta is really easy, it's just, it's just two pi, so you know, we'll leave that there. Um, let's integrate these r's. So we got r3 over 3, and this is going from, well in the first case it's going from 0 to 0, but let's just not worry too much about that. Um, when we subtract the r's, the, when we subtract the 0 portion, that's just going to go away. So we're just going to flip this. And uh, we're also going to integrate across the 2 theta, 2 pi. So we'll just say 2 pi. And then we got 270 over 3.3 .3 millimeters. So it's not too bad to do this integral, but um, it's a little weird. So that's our I. Um, now let's go and plug that into this equation. So the cool thing is for R equals zero, once we plug in that in over there, I equals zero, well, B equals zero. I mean, these R's will cancel out, so you get an R squared, so don't worry about the zero on the bottom, because it's going to go away anyway. And um, so there you go. So the answer is B equals zero for the first one. And now for the second one, at 2.1 milliliters, we can use the equation. So we have 4 pi e to negative 7, and then the I enclosed is going to be like 270. Um, uh, this is going to be 2.1 millimeters to the third. And then there's a 2 pi. And then we're going to divide that by 3.3 .3 millimeters. And multiply that by 3 over there. And 
then we can divide this whole thing by 2 pi and the 2.1 millimeter radius that we chose. These things can technically cancel out, kind of. This can become a 2, this can be go away. You know, there's a 2 pi here and a 2 pi there. So let's try to answer this one here. We'll say 4 is negative 7 times pi times 270 times 2.1 e to the negative 3 squared. And then we can even divide this by 3.3 3 and negative 3 times 3. And so this first one right here is going to be b at that particular radius equals 1.5 to the negative 7 tesla. And then we can try the next one. We'll basically be using the same equation, right? I think the only thing we want to be changing here is going to be 3.3 millimeters. And I think that's about it. So let's go and change that. 3.3. And uh, so there we go. Then we got the second answer is going to be 3.7 to the negative 7 Tesla. So once we found that equation there, it helps us to solve at any point on these radiuses.